You have to have transmission. Storage, you mean batteries? Oh, it can be hydro. It can be, uh, you can lift heavy objects up to the top of the mountain and, and roll them back down. <laughs> it can be hot sodium. But, but batteries would be the most efficient, wouldn't they? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. If you have the right ge geographic features, another good energy author is uh, David Mackay, spelled McKay, uh, who's taken the UK. It's a brilliant book, and it's kind of a must read because it actually explains to you why do cars use energy? How could that change? Why do households use energy? How could that change? Why do planes use energy? How could that change? Takes and adds it up and then says, okay, given even very optimistic assumptions, here's how much energy we'll need, and here's the choices of how we get it. He has a chapter on hydro storage, and yes, there are places where you can do some hydro storage, but... Is it you pump water up to the top of the mountain and then... And that works perfectly. Out? That's actually used in quite any place you have the right features that has actually good efficiency, um, low capital cost and good efficiency. Batteries today aren't in the same league. Now, you know, Vinod's backing a lot of battery companies. I'm directly backing a lot of battery companies. Batteries and compressed air are interesting in that it's possible you could get, I even have a gravity storage company that I'm involved with. You could get numbers that are very, very good. And that would help a lot. Then, then intermittent storage can come in. But you have to add the cost of the batteries or the equivalent of batteries, whatever the storage is, to whatever your cost of your intermittent storage You say is. you have a gravity company that you're investing in, so that's lifting things up to then drop down at peak power. It's basically gravel on ski lifts. So <laughs> if, if, you, if you have a period of energy availability, you take the ski lift and you pour gravel on it, yeah. and then if you have no energy, you take the gravel that's now at the top of the hill and you put it on the ski lift and it... it actually, it does... Um, Frequency regulation as well as, as uh, energy generation. All these systems, you know, they're pretty simple to characterize. They're capital cost and there's an efficiency would, level.